Hi, my name is Dennis Trotter with the City of Westwood, Texas Code Enforcement. Uh, as promised, we've got another episode of Co uh, Code Enforcement Connection. This month, we're going to be featuring junk motor vehicles. So let's get started. We have a lot to cover. What is a junk motor vehicle? Junk motor vehicle is defined as a vehicle that deals wrecked, dismantled, or partially dismantled and discarded. Also, it is uh, a vehicle that has been on public property for more than 72 consecutive hours and on private property for more than 30 consecutive days. Now, this includes but not limited to cars, trucks, boats, motorcycles, uh, trailers, travel trailers, uh, and other watercrafts. So let's go do a junk motor vehicle. We found a junk motor vehicle and this is a real good junk motor vehicle. Well, let, let's don't call this one a junk motor vehicle because it's not dismantled. It's not partially dismantled. And guess what? And so we're gonna say it's an inoperable motor vehicle. What makes it inoperable? Well, one of the things that makes this one inoperable is that the registration sticker is expired and there is no license plate on the vehicle that is being displayed. So we know that it's inoperable because both of those things are gone. You can tell that it's been sitting here for a while. Now that is not one of the criteria that makes a vehicle inoperable. A vehicle can sit in a driveway or in a yard for uh, a long time, uh, six months, two years, 10 years. That do not make the vehicle inoperable or a junk motor vehicle. Now if the vehicle displays a up-to-date registration sticker and it's operable. The vehicle is not in violation of the ordinance. I want to talk to you about how to report a violation. Just go on the city website and under the police portion of that website you're going to find code enforcement. Just click on that code enforcement. Once you click on that code enforcement you're going to see uh, code enforcement well to report a violation. It's going to walk you through. It's a simple process. The other way that you can report a violation just simply call us. When you call us we're going to reach out back out to you one way or the other and we're going to reach out back, uh, back out to you probably that same day. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Guess what? We'll be back again next Monday. We're going to be featuring Dangerous Building. You want to tune in for that as well because it's going to be a good one. We'll go over some of the very fine details about a dangerous building. So, hey, I'll see you next time.